If you want to throw more touchdowns and less interceptions, this is the video for you. We're going to go over free form passing. Let's get into it. So first, I just want to show you my settings. Now, the way you get to free form passing, you go to options settings game options and then you go to passing mechanics and you're going to go to placement accuracy make sure this is on passing slowdown you can put this off if you play against a computer that's when you can turn this on it actually slows down the game so you can see the reticle a little bit better for free form reticle max distance you want to make sure that this is on near if you put this on far or no max distance that means that it's going to be a lot harder to accurately place the reticle when you freeform pass and you're really not going to be able to have any accurate passes so you want to make sure that this is on near and for freeform reticle speed you want this on probably 6 to 14. when i first started madden 24 i had it on 6 wasn't enough for me so now i kind of flirt with 8 to 10 and sometimes i practice on 14. a lot of people i've seen some people have it you know all the way up to 20. I'm not with that. I think that for the average player, maybe a little bit above average, even, I mean, really good players, I bet they have it between 8 to 14. I go to 8. Uh, you know, you can check things, you can check it out for yourself, flirt with 8 to 10, see how you like it. And then for reticle visibility, go to visible, and meter visibility, go to user only. Now, what freeform passing does is give you the ability to throw outside of the shaded circle. This can be done to lead the receivers so they can continue their momentum and their speed. This can also be done to throw away from safeties or defenders, and it can also give you better animations for after the catch. So there are a lot of positives when it comes to freeform passing. Now, one thing quick I wanna go over is that when people freeform pass, a lot of the time they move the left stick all the way to the sides or the circle, whatever you wanna call it. That's something that could be done sometimes, but most of the time I actually end up not moving the left stick all the way. You kinda have to have like a soft thumb, you know, like soft hands in football, catching the ball, a soft thumb. You don't wanna jam it all the way. Just kind of little little movements. Just like when you run the ball, you don't want to jam the left stick right when you get the ball. You kind of want little movements, look for the holes, and that's what you want to do when you freeform pass. And something else that you need to know if you don't already, you need to hold LT or L2 if you want to activate freeform passing. So you hold LT or L2 while you press the receiver icon that you want to throw to. And of course, like I said before, you move the left stick to the direction you want to throw the ball to. Now let's go in to how you can throw the deep ball. Deep balls in Madden 24, you really need freeform passing. If you don't use freeform passing, you probably throw a lot of interceptions. Now in Madden 23, all you had to do to throw a deep ball is actually just high ball pass with LB or L1. I'm going to show you that right now. Like it's really not going to be as good. It's going to be inaccurate. You'll see right there that because it's Mike Evans, he caught it, but a normal receiver is not going to catch that ball, especially against a good corner. It's just, it's not a, not even a great throw, wasn't accurate. Now, what you're going to see when I freeform pass this, it's going to give Mike Evans a chance to have a great rack catch, a run after the catch. It's going to continue his momentum. So you're going to see it's a pretty good pass by Baker. Boom, and right there. He gets a great throw and a great over-the-shoulder catch and can continue his momentum. Now, that's something that you cannot do when you don't freeform pass. I'm going to show you that right now. It's an okay pass right there. You're not going to get enough space to throw the ball, and you're not going to be able to get outside of that shaded circle. It's going to, in, it's going to end up in interceptions. It's going to end up as knockdown passes like that was, and online, that's probably going to be an interception. So freeform passing is very important when throwing deep balls. I'm going to do this one more time so you can see the the really a really big difference right there. It's going to go over the yep, over the corner and right there I didn't get enough separation, but I was still able to get the ball over the corner's head. And that's the beauty of freeform passing. I mean, the receiver beats the corner, you need to be able to throw this type of ball and if you don't freeform pass, you're not going to be able to take advantage of your receivers beating the corners off of release. I now want to show you what you can do when you're facing a very good man defense where you only really have a step on your corners and you need to throw it into a tight window. I'm going to look at the tight end here. Now he might not have a lot of separation, he might have a lot of separation, but it's kind of just the concept that I want to show you. So what I'm going to do here is not freeform pass the ball and I want you to see the difference when I freeform pass. Now here I'm probably not going to be able to lead the, re the receiver very well the defender might even be able to tip the ball depending on how he plays it. 
Boom, right there. And you see that how he slowed down a little bit when I passed the ball. That was no freeform pass. And the ball was a little bit behind him. Let's go look at the instant replay. So right there, he kind of slowed down that little step right there. He's not in stride. Now watch the difference when I freeform pass. So that's actually a great example. We had a guy right on our butt and I was able to freeform pass the ball away from him. If I didn't freeform pass that ball, that's going to be a pick. But also notice that he really didn't stop. If he had to stop, that's going to be a knockout all day. But he continued his movement, and although he was tackled right when he caught the ball, it still shows that, you know, if that defender wasn't one step behind, he's going to have a great rack catch for a couple more yards. But now I want to go over how you can beat certain defensive coverages just based off of free form passing. So the first coverage we're going to go over is a cover two, a cover two zone, and we're just going to go to four verticals again, and we will go to cover two drop. Now what I want to show you here is actually really cool and something I do against cover two almost every time I see it. So that concept on the right side is what I do against cover two. Um, if you see someone playing against cover two, you should do this. It's extremely hard to stop if they are playing cover two. Now, I'm going to either throw it to A or B. If I throw it to A, I'm going to freeform pass the ball to the middle of the field. If I throw it to B, I'm going to freeform pass the ball to the sideline. So let's snap the ball here, and we've got to read that safety. And right there, that's a perfect example. Boom. So I freeform passes to the sideline, and the safety did not have a shot. And that's how you can beat cover two, or whenever there's a safety up here, and you have room to the sideline, you just got a freeform pass to the sideline. And the way I did that is hold LT and move the right stick or the left stick just halfway to the right. And you're going to see right here, you know, I see the safety. I see that I have, you know, a window over here. So I hold LT, I freeform pass the ball, a bullet pass too. Freeform pass the ball over here for a, you know, that usually is going to be over the left shoulder. Now I made this pass to be caught over the right shoulder just like that. And that's the type of stuff that you can do against certain zone defenses and even man defenses depending on the type of man defense. I'm going to show you this again, but I'm going to try to hit A up the middle of the field. And regardless if I complete the pass or not, I just want you to see what this free form can do. Like how far you can actually take this to the middle of the field and how efficient and how productive it can be. So I'm going to snap the ball, read the safety. I'm still going to try to get it to A. Boom. Now I didn't throw it to the middle of the field there because that zone middle linebacker was did actually a good job of guarding the middle of the field but i threw it away from him you'll see that if i threw that to the middle of the field obviously we have this middle linebacker so i decided to throw away from this middle linebacker by holding lt and the left stick to the right and it moved my my tight end just a little to the right you see that little movement right there right here that little movement to the right is very little but does a lot for you. But now I'm going to show you what you can do against a cover three with a flood concept. So we're going to go to even cover four would work too. We're going to go cover four. We're going to put B on a streak, A on a flat and block the running back. Now I'm going to throw it to this corner route here. And the goal is to make the route flatter, just like that right there. And the reason we do that is to throw it away from that safety that hit us. So we're running this corner out. That's our first read. And we're going to see that if we threw this upfield, right, where he's going pretty much, if we threw this upfield, this 45 degree angle, this safety or this corner would easily be able to make a play. So I freeform past this around here, you know, enough space away from this defender to be able to make a grab. And the way I did that too is also holding LT and the left stick down and to the right, but not all the way down to the right. Halfway down, halfway to the right is kind of the way I like explaining it. Hopefully that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But look at the way that Chris Godwin was able to react to this ball because I made the route flatter. So he's taking a 45 degree angle and then makes a sharp cut and makes it almost a straight line. And that right there is a perfect example on how you can throw it away from deep zones if you don't really have a, a, a route occupying a deep zone right here. You can just throw it away from him by freeform passing. And you're going to see in fast motion here, or in live motion, whatever you want to call it, he makes this quick straight cut for an easy catch. And again, because we freeform pass, that's a catch. Like if you just, you know, classic throw that, he's probably going to knock that ball out, but you get better animations when you freeform pass. So now I want to show you what happens when I don't freeform pass this ball? You'll see right there, it literally doesn't do anything. I literally did the same exact thing with my left stick, 
and the reticle didn't really move anywhere. I'm going to show you that one more time. It did a little bit better, but not enough for any separation. Now it's also important to use freeform passing on flat routes because when you throw flat routes and don't freeform pass, it's going to have a worse animation than you would when you freeform pass and you won't get a good rack catch animation. So I'll show you that right now. I'm not going to freeform pass here. You can see there, like the ball's kind of behind him. He gets a good rack catch, but imagine if I was able to get that out in front. So let me show you that right now. So I'm going to freeform pass here. Be able to get that out in front. He doesn't really stop right there. Now we don't have a lot of room because the sidelines right there, but you're able to see that he's able to really continue his motion and stay in stride. Now if I did it to the other side, let's see the difference. Boom, keep in stride right there. And you're able to get a lot of separation after the catch from that linebacker. Now if I do that without freeform to the other side, watch the difference here. It goes kind of behind him and he literally stops and you only get an eight yard game instead of an 18 yard game. So I hope that was a very informational video on how you can freeform pass and what you're supposed to do when throwing, you know, deep balls, the way you're not supposed to freeform pass, even the settings. If you have any questions about any of the settings, any of the ways that you can, you know, finesse passing and make freeform better, let me know. Hope this helped you out. I'll see you next video.